Hi, it's Joy in the same way to watching Superman and Lois, season 3, episode 12, Injustice. And that title makes me think that this is going to be about the injustice of Lex Luthor being arrested for a crime he didn't commit and being in jail for that, meaning him being freed, and that is very frustrating. Not in like in the sense that I get that it's the right thing to do and I do support it, but I'm also like, how many people is this man going to kill because we let him out of jail? It's also the penultimate episode, so I'm stressed. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of these reactions on my Patreon and let's go. How long until you heal? How long until you feel normal again? Okay. Until you get your confidence you are now. It's gonna have to be enough. Or more than enough. If there was ever a time to push myself, it's right now. Because he's coming after us. Yeah. We need to find the evidence of his other crimes, because it's out there. He like rules the prison as well. Ridiculous. So that means there's someone else out there with powers, and I think people should know that. What are you gonna do? A podcast? And or you're something? a 38 year old man no. in high school. Did an interview though. Some sort of weird hoodie. Goggles. You didn't say anything before about goggles. <laughs> Probably just to hide their identity. <laughs> he was. That's such a joke. <laughs> so, guy's a total badass, right? What goggles? Yeah. Though? <laughs> I can't get past that. Goggles. <laughs> You kind of have to join in, otherwise they're gonna be suspicious. Uh, it's about someone with powers. And Superman? Well. Someone new. Sounds like a kid. Say Hoping I could pick your brain. Sure. She kind of has to. It's what weirder if she know? doesn't, and you need to be staying close to her so you can kind of steer it if need be. More supply. He was talking about the whole superhero thing at school today. What? He was bragging about it. He said that if there was someone that saved me and Junior, that that person is a hero. Jordan said that. I've been I mean, carrying around the secret and brags about it to wellness his dumbass. <laughs> that was a teenage boy hearing people making fun of his goggles and wanting to be like, yeah, but I'm cool. It was dumb, but... Not okay that he's doing this. No. I mean, she's kind of not he said the full context. Secret? I shouldn't either. Like, the context was more than just him bragging about it out of nowhere. So I'm very intrigued about what their um, history is. Like, was he Superman's arch enemy before this, or was he just kind of an ordinary crook that Lois gone after, and now he's gonna become an arch enemy? All right. I said we're gonna let the kid finish his meal, Park. Oh, he's getting all defensive. Why are you babying this kid? I'm not a fan of this hazing crap. Whatever. Screw this. Yeah, you're done for the day. Go on. I mean, hazing does suck, but you were hazing a few weeks ago. You just keep doing what you're doing. You make your old man proud, huh? He is so treating him differently because he knows who his dad is. Usually I can cover. I put the kibosh on Jordan. Starting right now. No more saves. Not until this all dies mm -hmm. down. It's hey, true. I don't mean to intrude. I... Afternoon, man. I mean, she's gonna say Jordan's been bragging about it. And he did kind of go, well, if he was our age, he'd be cool. Yeah, that's obvious, and they need to talk to him about not doing it. But he didn't bring it up out of nowhere. I think maybe Jordan's enjoying it a little mm -hmm. too much. I mean, I do as well. But I feel bad because Sarah did not tell the context. But the promise of more opportunities to come. You pay what I ask, fish. This is a scary right man. Now I'm asking fifty thousand dollars. Happy that Superman keep yourself. I didn't Luther do it all up because Luther's such a kind of you can keep your teeth. Been done a lot, but I am intrigued to see how they go with it. That makes sense. And maybe you I can still walk. My bigger issue with Luther in Supergirl wasn't in any way the act or the portrayal. I thought he was a very, very good, interesting Luther. It was more that Lex Luther is a Superman villain, and it was irritating me that he was in Supergirl, but. Obviously, this is a Superman show, so I don't mind it. Though I was kind of enjoying the freshness of it not being kind of this well-worn well, well -trod path, well-worn path. That being said, I love this show, and I trust they're going to do something very interesting with Lex. It's already different to other versions that I've seen in the whole like them sending to prison for something he didn't do. <laughs> Lex must have a plan here. I think we both know why. He just walked in the door. Funny, Jonathan wants to talk to them and then... Everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. Okay, maybe he doesn't. 
You don't get to be normal when your dad is Superman. I'm sorry, how's this my fault? Hmm. You know what, we can dad and I need to talk to Jordan alone. As always, alone. anything going on with Jonathan gets pushed to the back. It's not as important as Jordan. I get it, and in this time, I, I kind trouble? of agree. My mask covered my face, so what if someone sees me? So what? The Daily Planet won't stop I told them he was too young. about the Smallville Samaritan. Oh. You need to hand in your suit. You do need to learn to be responsible, young man. Well, I, I also suit. feel like if students like the thing with Sarah, he probably should still have the suit available so if there's an emergency he can do something because otherwise Sarah would be dead and so would Junior. But the thing is you don't stick around afterwards admiring your handiwork. Uh, not well. Well, hey man, I wasn't expecting to see you here. <laughs> so, like, uh, you wanna deer in the headlights. See what John's been up to? The yeah, point taken. I'll, uh, I'll handle it. Thanks. Don't Lose be horrible really to him, though. Like, doing, Kyle. like genuine. John loves being here. Is this man walking Ocean the whole way to Smallville? If you come here to bribe me, then I'm all ears. I'm not gonna pay you anything. Then I think we're done. Because the man was I'm like, to make you an offer. When he said that, was he like gonna be like, "Ha, you tried to bribe me. That's another charge." Or was he gonna be like, "Yes, I'll take the money." That's my home number. They really needed to have Lex in a super duper max Dad, prison with no one else. Just do stay strong, son. Uh, like I'm he should have get... been in a super duper max with solitary, no access to outside world. Wouldn't stop this, but it would stop any future. They'll wait five minutes. You have to agree. Okay. Mad. The right thing to do is to agree, explain then to you tell someone, are and they're going to witness protection. Here. It was my story that helped send Luther to prison. I have to face it at some point. Yeah, and you you did, in the article today. you published. Oh, I know what happens. I think the guards are all just okay with this. I mean, I presume their families are also being threatened to a degree, but like, if I, I wouldn't be okay if my boss was like, hey, I'm, I'm being threatened. I don't even beat up the inmates for Lex Luthor. You seem to think you uh, get special treatment from me. Kyle, but, but don't that, take out That's not what I said. I just think we need to keep things in house. Right, so you got a problem? We'll handle it right here. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You are also dealing with a teenager who should always be encouraged to go to his parents with any problems he's having. If he was an adult, even like an 18 year old to a degree, and he was working here as your probie or whatever, then yes, of course, his first case should always be talk to you first you don't then run and say mom dad i'm having a problem with work as much as you might want to um but he's a child children are allowed to go to their parents for help if they're struggling i get what he's saying and he, i know he's giving john johnson's chance and he's treating him like an adult he's treating him with respect like an equal even like you know the lowest level of the rudder of the that lowest rung of the ladder not the lowest le level of the rung of course um but you don't tell a teenager not to talk to their parents. I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, you don't. Station. Yeah, okay, just keep me posted. So you embarrassed me in front of Superman, no, man. I was sticking up for Junior. You hate Junior. You just couldn't resist talking about how awesome you are. It wasn't... He didn't like the boys making fun of the his goggles or making fun of the idea of like him. That. I'll... You know, it's impressive how you made this all about you. It is about me, it's my life, and you're not helping, so can you just stay out of it? I mean, the way you kind of charged in. That's a tornado warning. Or oh, is Lex making a tornado to attack Smallville? The boy in his hoodie without the suit. Like, this is why we should have kept the suit at home and told him, if we find out you have taken this suit in a non-actual emergency, God, you're in trouble, young man. You've got to put it on right now. I support him in this exact moment. Though I don't know if I do, if that makes sense. Like, in my mind, he would should put it on, stay out of sight, and then if there looks like something's going to happen and Superman's not going to get there, then he intercedes. Not like, oh, I'm the hero, look at me saving everyone. You fly away immediately, you don't land, so you get seen, Jordan. 
okay? The whole point of this was you let yourself get seen. But he wants this. I mean, I don't think that's why he landed. He should have flown off. He wanted this. Oh, he's bad. He's being a naughty boy, like a bad kid right now. Knowing his parents aren't happy with this, posing Stand for pictures. Near everywhere. Disobeyed me. I was just trying to help. I told you I didn't need your help. On top of that, why didn't you just fly away? Uh huh. That's you all you had to do. Before anyone realized you were there. I don't know. You don't know? Oh, you landed brat. right in front of them. Right now we saved their lives. The that's, that's not. Just forgot? I didn't forget, Mom. He chose to ignore it. Just didn't care. Well, you better start caring. Whatever. Jordan? Hey! Where has this brat come out? Like, Jordan has honestly been becoming less likeable. And it's a really weird character choice because I know he's having his relationship dramas with Sarah, which have made him a little bit emotional and unstable. And I get going from being the kind of awkward kid that no one liked, that had mental health problems and that was kind of bullied or whatever, to being like someone everyone's going to look up to and applaud, will do stuff to your head. But it doesn't have to do this to your head. Right now, I don't like the young man Jordan is. Doesn't mean I don't like him as a person, forever, but I do not like this young man. You people see him around town enough, track his flight paths, someone's gonna put two and two together. That's the kind of conversation you need to have with him. And that will put your whole family at risk, not just you. He is going to his head. Yeah. Arrogant little Yo. boy. Lex ever show up at Luther Corps? Doesn't look like it. Is he gonna like knock on the front door? Yep, he's about to knock at the front door. Mm hmm. Been a long time. You and I are not discussing my children. What about your cancer? I like often find it so fascinating with villains because they're like I've committed millions of crimes and killed loads of people how dare you stop me Zep, I always said I was innocent yes but we all know you're not the innocent innocent didn't support your story okay I got it wrong and I'm sorry I was innocent of that crime 17 years of my life gone what I want is he claiming he's an innocent man who's never committed a single crime ever in his life? And she put him away? Because I don't think so, sir. This is the rage that someone that has never even so much as Americans get jaywalking tickets, right? Hasn't even crossed the street without allow being allowed to. Is to never have to read your words again. Don't ever come back. Then you'd better retire. Men. Like, obviously supervillains hate to be bested, but it's like, sir, you are a villain! Get over yourself! You're acting like you've never done anything wrong in your life. Are they gonna be, like, in witness protection in season four? You realize your daughter won't talk to you because she found out you're a supervillain. Because you going to prison will have opened the floodgate on articles and other things about your other crimes that aren't quite as provable in a court of law. Like, this is honestly one time when I think the right thing to do would have been to let injustice carry out. It would be so funny if Bizarro Superman just killed Lex. Right now. Just like rose up all rage monstery like he kind of was sometimes and just killed him. <laughs> It'd be such a brilliant twist. He hasn't killed Lex, has he? Because that would have been. Did he kill Lex? Because if he killed Lex, that would be hilarious. And I would be like, high five Superman and Lois, you built up Lex as the big bad, and then you just killed him. I have a feeling he just killed Otis. So, as a penultimate episode, I feel like they were introducing Lex. I'm holding out hope that Lex just got murdered, but we didn't see it, so I doubt he did. Lex is definitely terrifying. I'm very intrigued by this version of him. He doesn't. From what they've been talking, the way they've been talking about it, it doesn't seem as though he is necessarily an arch enemy of Superman. Obviously, he doesn't like Superman, so then coming for Superman next or whatever. But it's like 
Lois was the one that stopped him because she wrote articles about him. I am intrigued to learn more about him when they talk about him to learn to see if he was the kind of anti-alien, oh I've got to stop Superman, I'm a hero, I'm stopping Superman, etc. like nonsense that Lex often has. But like I always find with these villains, the way they get so angry that someone dead point out that they're a criminal when they literally are a criminal killing people left right and center and they're like how do you find me now obviously it's how they maintain their empires and but he was like so genuinely angry that she dared it's because they're such kind of narcissistic superiority complex people so while i'm not like i know some people will probably be super excited to have lex because he's such an iconic superman villain and so far they're doing a very good job with lex and like it's just more that kind of you don't know, have like lex luther fatigue because <laughs> every single thing has lex luther in it it feels like but again i will get behind it like i enjoyed the lex in supergirl i just wished it wasn't him because you know there are so many lexes um but this is also superman show let's make sense the him being in prison because of crime he didn't commit and them actually freeing him is a very interesting take you know they did the right thing as they always do they do the right thing even when it's difficult even when it's maybe not the right thing to do the right thing to do even when it's maybe not right if that makes sense but like every single bit of injustice lex does from here on out is because they wanted to do the right thing like i feel like sometimes there are morally gray areas and when you know without a doubt lex luther is a mass murderer you should just let him stay in prison <laughs> though he was fucking ruling that prison like it uh, he was having a nice time in prison they should have left him there do not blame his daughter for not wanting to see him it is not lois's fault it's lex's fault then we come to the boys i don't like jordan right now i know he's being a teenager i know he's having a strop i know in some ways he's kind of gone from being like the loser kid that no one liked to being a hero that people adore and that is going to his head but I don't like it. It doesn't look good on him. Again, um, oh my god, his name has gone from my head. Actor doing a brilliant job because like he's being obnoxious and I'm like, obnoxious boy. But I, I don't like him um, right now. He's a teenager, so that is not, a, I don't like him full stop, but I do not like this version of him. He is arrogant. He is self-important. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I literally never had a phase even vaguely like that as a teenager. So I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I know some people do fight with their parents, but I never did. So I'm like, well, what are you doing? Your parents clearly only want the best for you. They are good parents. They care about you. They listen to you. They fucking let you train to be a superhero in the first place, when I think that was far too soon because you're too young. Like, yeah, I don't like him right now. Jonathan, slightly more right to be upset with Clark, um, particularly because Clark went and talked to Kyle without talking to Jonathan about it. So I think if he talked to Jonathan about it, Jonathan would have said, no, it's fine. I'll deal with it. Don't worry. And then he only would have gone to it if things had escalated. That being said, I also didn't like that Kyle was pissed off with Jonathan for having supposedly talked to Clark, even when he said, well, no, he just overheard me talking about it because he's a 16 year old boy. 16 year olds should go to their parents if they're having trouble at their part time job, at their work or whatever, because they are children. You're not, he haven't hired him. He is a volunteer. Like you are supposed to be able to talk to your parents about it. If anything, Clark overstepped. And why are you so angry at Jonathan? So he better be OK with him after this. Though admittedly, Kyle sucks. Like he would be the one that was like stars in the eyes like can't look at superman i think he was mainly cross with jo jonathan because he thought he'd be made to look he'd embarrass them in front of superman so yeah i jordan is irritating me jonathan i feel sorry for as always sarah again i think she is kind of taking the whole lying about jordan's secret thing making it about her but she's also not wrong that it kind of is about her and when he isn't taking it seriously when he is risking that secret and she is potentially losing friendships but why the fuck you want to be friends with a 35 year old man <laughs> i don't know sarah i'm sorry i'm so mean it's just the actor really like he's probably younger than me but like he doesn't look like he's supposed to be i mean i don't look i'm supposed to be in high school he doesn't look like he's meant to be in high school and it, it's just yeah um i feel like she broke up with him and then he's just been not handling it well and fair enough he doesn't have to handle it well but he doesn't get to turn it back on sarah all the time either i know that in the next season the so the cushing cortezes aren't in it or at the very least they're not or maybe natalie and john henry thinking about it and chrissy was sick did they suddenly lose people like did the budget suddenly drastically get slashed in this episode um but like i know that they're not going to be in the next season as I think at all it might just be not as recurring characters which does make me feel like they or the Kents are going to leave Smallville 
So I have no idea where this is going. Um, because it, it, I, I don't know how they're going to write that in a way that makes sense. But again, that's not, I don't know anything about it beyond I saw an article headline about that. And I was like, what? But yes. Maybe I did see that before I'd even started watching the show. I genuinely don't remember. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next reaction.